everybody. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, then welcome. It's, I'm glad to have you. Um, I'm doing my first show and tell video. So I'm going to start showing, I don't know how often I'll do this, but um, I thought I'd do some videos uh, showing you some of the items that I collect. So I'm going to start today with my nun collection. I have nuns and I also have a few little, um, oh, what do you call them, monks. Um, and I have another one that I don't know if it's a priest, but anyways, I'll show you. Um, I don't remember when I started collecting these. It's pretty recently. Um, I would say maybe in the last, within the last two years. I don't remember which one was my first though. Um, I picked up these nuns, these three little, they remind me of the flying nun uh, at a yard sale. So I thought these were adorable. I had picked up two sets of these, or two of these. Um, I sold one and I kept one for myself. And it was made in Japan. And this is that paper mache, like um, composite. <laughs> Aren't they just adorable? So these are one of my first, I believe. Um, I picked up this, well, I purchased this from Jody Renshaw when she was doing live sales on YouTube. And I just love this. Um, she has like a, I think it's a crocheted outfit. And she has this pretty little necklace with a cross and a pearl. And she's just beautiful. I just love her. She's one of those sleepy eye dolls. Isn't she pretty? And there was a little note attached to her. And I imagine that's when Jody picked her up. And it says Nun Doll from Grandma Russell's from Grandma Russell's Treasures, December 29th, 1978. So I'm gonna try to keep that with her. So I thought that was just, I just love her. Love her so much. Um, I know when I purchased her, she was probably like either my second or my third nun doll. And then it just kind of exploded from there. Um, I was gifted this one from Leanne from Crafty Kitty Vintage. And this one is very unusual. It's not a nun, but it's, um, I think he's a priest. But he has this faux fur. This I think is faux fur, it might be real fur, I don't know. Um, very interesting, but she gifted that to me, which was very sweet. And she also gifted me another one this year for Christmas. Um, look at this, <laughs> it's a little mouse nun. Isn't that just adorable? It's a little ornament, but isn't she cute? <laughs> so I got her. And then I also got uh, recently from Apple, Renee is her name, from App her name's Apple Martini. And look at these. Um, I did have these on my haul video or unboxing video. Aren't they adorable? Uh, she got these from Yoso Boho and um, she purchased them from her live sale and had her send them to me because she knows I collect nuns. So that was really thoughtful of her. And then I'm not sure if I got any other ones that were gifted to me or if I purchased these. Um, these are the little monks. And I have another one. Oh, I have to go get them. I think I have a larger one. Very similar to this. So cute. These are Goebel, uh, made in Germany, West Germany. And I got these little ones. Look how cute these are. I don't know if these were gifted to me. I can't remember. Isn't that, that that's sad um, that I can't remember? I'm trying to think where these were made. I think, oh, these were made in Japan. These are little tiny ones. They're porcelain. Aren't they cute? And then these, again, a lot of these I don't remember where I got them. These are so cute too. I almost feel like I got these together. I know I did, um, 
I did purchase some of these on eBay, some on whatnot. I don't remember if I did any on from a YouTube reseller. I believe these two came together. They look like they go together. These are beautiful too. I love these. She's got the crucifix and she's reading the Bible. They are so sweet. Just love these. Oh, sweet little faces. And then these two have really sweet faces. These are, um, well, let me show them to you first. Uh, these are World Creations Ceramic, or World Creations Orm, Ormco, made it, or by Ormco, made in Japan. So yeah, these are all vintage. I just love them. And then I also have this one, this trio. I think this was, I don't remember if this was whatnot or um, could have been eBay. Now this is a music box. Uh, it does work. It's kind of slow. I don't know what this tune is. Made in Japan. Kind of out of tune. But aren't they sweet? Okay, uh, let me go get, I think I have one other one. Um, I think it's a monk, but let me go get it. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Okay, yes, this other one is another Goble monk. So he's bigger than th these other little ones. Because these, I think, are salt and pepper shakers. Yeah, they are salt and pepper shakers. And he's actually a bank. He's got some kind of metal thing on the bottom. He must have had a key, because I don't have the key. But I use these as figurines anyways. So, And then I had one more nun. Uh, she does have something broken. I don't know what she was holding. Whatever it is, it is broken. But she's still adorable. I still love her. I think I bought her in a lot. So she probably came with some of these other ones. And it was notated that... Um, that it was something was broken, but I can't remember what this is. So I had to look her up and see what it was because they're, oh, and her finger's broken too. Oh, she had a little tumble. She was made by National Potteries, Bedford, Ohio. It is also possible that I got her at a yard sale, I don't remember, but I'm gonna look her up, see what that was that she was holding. And maybe with polymer clay, I might be able to build up a new one and fix her but I don't mind just the way she is. Um, I don't mind sometimes if things have little chips or cracks in them. I still display them. And you can't tell when she's sitting up on the shelf. So yeah, that's my nun collection for now. Um, I don't know if I see some more, I may add to it, you never know. But um, we'll see if I get a really good price. You never know. So thank you for watching. Um, I'm not sure what my next show and tell will be, but um, we'll see. Tell me what your collections are down below in the comment section. I'd love to hear what, they, what you collect. Um, if you're like me, you might have several collections. So um, we'll see. And hopefully next week I'll do another show and tell. And until next time, I'll see you in my next video.